spot at Newcastle Sophia's at the moment. Beresford bringing it forward. Clark's making a run ahead of him. Here's Lee Clark to take over. Square for O'Brien. Venison supporting. Neat football. Kelly got a real shove in the back there. Venison. Peacock, lovely ball to Robert Lee. And it's in. And Newcastle has the lead. Kevin Brock's on the end of it. 12 minutes gone. Newcastle strike first. It's a great bit of reverse passing that put Robert Lee in there. I think it was David Kelly. Pity for Sunderland, they've battled away very well. You can't see who played him in there. It's a good square ball across the goal. It's gone in, actually, it's an own goal. Through to David Kelly, has a look around, but he's onside. And Kelly... And David Kelly would have expected himself to tuck that one away. Robert Lee this time. Now Sunderland they... need to make a better effort. The real punishment could still be here for Newcastle. Chipped in there, hit the bar from Hours. Still not clear. Good. Hours confused and then they were expecting something different but he had the composure to just chip that one in yeah it's a great bit of skill there and he deserved to go for it unfortunate just another little chip over the wall and it's just carried a little bit too high let's see if they can get anything else to take it again Tommy Wright under real pressure it was great Bennett is up there so too Kevin Ball and Anton Rogan and Bennett jumping and Bennett equalizes no uh, towards the near post Gary Bennett and Kevin Ball Ball no second thoughts in this game players have flung themselves into every challenge Clark O'Brien O'Brien prepared to take his time and hold the ball and look up Howie now coming forward this is a good break by the Sunderland born lad and he's found Peacock and Peacock oh so dangerous, Newcastle, and Peacock so close to putting the game further away from Sunderland's reach. It's a great run there from Stephen Howey, caught on flat-footed. Going Peacock, stolen in there, and his left foot shot has gone just over the bar. Hours. There it is. Cross for Armstrong, and Armstrong, the substitute, equalises. Gordon Armstrong, born in Newcastle, gets the breakthrough for Sunderland. And they're dancing now in the full end. Yeah, it was another very well-flighted corner. Lots of bodies at the near post. It misses everybody, it drops at Armstrong's feet. He gets a lucky ricochet. Brian. Beautifully done by Liam O'Brien. That was absolute perfection. Newcastle back in front, and O'Brien scores again. It was O'Brien at Roco last year, O'Brien upset the Borough, and now O'Brien's done it again. Yeah. You see, it's the goalkeeper's, it's gone in on the goalkeeper's side. Imagine he's seen many more exciting encounters than this one. And here goes Peacock again. Peacock. Carter off his line, but battling all the way. It might still fall, but O'Brien plays it out and Lee again the man available right back alongside the defence Clark and Kelly and Kelly is onside so many red and white shirts there and he may well prefer to pass a little bit of time in company with that corner flag but he still managed to find Lee who's back up helping the attack now Lee for Kevin Brock and Beresford is available and this is what Newcastle do so well switching the attack with their precise passing Peacock gets the ball and that's how to there. play you see that's a sign of their professionalism Liam O'Brien's cleared it from one end they haven't given they haven't put the ball at risk at all Kelly kept it in the corner and they finished up with getting a corner short for Brock and back again Beresford and Lee Clark turning one way and another and trying one and a great save by Carter, and that really would have been signing off in style.